So this is natural light. Go into room number one. Room number two. It's very dark in here. One window. And we are gonna go into the pitch pitch black here. Nothing. I can't see a thing. Okay. Now let's turn on the tachyon light. Okay, so it should be on. Should be very focused. It's 940 infrared light light bulbs. They're LED, of course. Good thing is that we cannot see the IR with our naked eye. Must use a camera. That's cool. Let's turn on the Cree Ultrafire. I like. Okay, so it should be pretty, pretty bright. It's a very strong light bulb. Had to go through several of these to find out which one's the best. The only problem is I can see a red cherry glow from the light bulb, and uh, I'm pretty sure you can see that from far away. So if you're staying in one spot trying to, you know, hide or whatever, this is not the light to use. Good thing is that you know I use this for close quarters, and it doesn't really matter. I'm always moving around. You're pretty much not gonna be able to see me. Let's turn on both lights. Okay, here are the pros and cons again really quickly with the tachyon light. It is invisible. I cannot see it with my naked eye, but you know, it's not that strong and it's very focused. I'm sure with other night vision cameras or IR cameras, uh, you probably see a lot more than this. With the Cree light bulb, very powerful. You can see a lot more not so focused. The downside is that I can see a cherry glow from very far away and I would shoot at it until it breaks if I were the enemy. Alright guys, I'm Dan D. Thanks for watching this episode of Tachyon Review. Subscribe, like, share. Feel free to join the Facebook page, facebook.com slash groups slash 6mm fighter. Catch you guys in the next episode.